I know it's been a while and so I apologize for being MIA, but today's adventure is a house review for Tia Maria Wiggs and I have today, and I'm so grateful, I just wanted to say thank you so much to Tia for allowing me this opportunity and for sending me this wig, very much appreciated, but I have Dakota from Renee of Paris in, I want to say honeysuckle, but it's honeycomb brown. I know this is going to be backwards, but it's honeycomb brown. And I just wanted to show you that it has all these highlights on the ends of the wig. Very, very pretty color. Can you see all that? See how it has it on the ends? So it's very, very interesting the way that they've done this. They've put it down through the sides and on the ends and you can see it kind of through the wig so very 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 unique color i haven't seen this before it's a new color to me that i'm trying so very very pretty so dakota from renee of paris in honeycomb brown isn't that exciting and i have on my milano wig grip cap you know i always use that Always helps to keep the writing up for me. I like to tuck the wig in the back of it. And then also, you know, have the wig grip and the cover. It just helps me with the writing up in the back. So let's take a look at the inside cap. So Dakota does have a lace front. So take a look at that. And it has a left mono part. So we've got the lace front, just really temple to temple. We've got here. And we've got a mono part on this one. We've got ears, the velvet ears, and we've got the hair coming into the, the ears, which always is nice because it kind of helps with that. And then we have a basic cap and we do not have an extended nape. So we do have the velour hair, but it's not extended. And for stretch, we've got pretty decent stretch here. So let's take a look and see what Dakota looks like. She's a nice straight. She looks like a nice length. Looks like a little bit of a fringe. So I put that way down too far. So let's get her upright. Oh, this is pretty. <gasps> Oh, look at how pretty this is. Make sure that I've got this right. Make sure it's laying flat. Oh, I like it. Look at this. You've got a little bit of a, little bit of a fringe, but it's really kind of going into it. It's not a kind of fringe that sticks out. Oh, this is pretty. Very nice. Oh, I like it. Very, very pretty. We've got something right here. It's not laying right. I don't know which side. Maybe it wants to go on the other side. Yeah, I think it wants to go on the other side. Okay. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, I like this. This is very pretty. I love the length, very nice length. It's not too long, but a nice straight sort of face framing style. I like it. Very pretty. Again, like I said, it's not the kind of fringe that you're gonna like feather. It's kind of built into it just to give it a little bit of layering. So you've got some other layers down here. So you've got a couple different layers kind of building into it to kind of 
fit, frame the face a little bit, but it's really meant to be like straight around your face. Oh, very pretty. Very pretty. Let's see what we have in here. We've got no permatease. So no permatease. But it's not, it's, it's not super flat to me because there's enough density here. It's not a very thin wig. It's, but there's no permatease. So it's going to sit. You're not going to get any lift from this. Oh, this is gorgeous. Let me show you all sides. So the density, like I said, density is very nice. It's not super thin, not very thick, giving you like a nice head of hair. You've got the nice framing highlights coming down out of the fringe on the ends here. If you can see that, that looks really pretty. Oh, I love this. This is pretty. Yep, no other, no permatees in here. This is gorgeous. So this is Renee of Paris, Dakota and honeycomb brown. What I'll do is I'll take you over, show you my outfit, and then I will come back tonight and give you an update on how she wore all day. All right, so let's go see my outfit. All right, everyone, so here's my outfit for the day. Wearing my green to match my company. So I've got green with just some blue slacks on. The top, the sweater has sort of like a real high cut in it. Very nice, loose flowing sweater. Just have a chain in the middle. So this is my outfit for the day with some navy blue boots with Dakota from Renee of Paris. So thanks for stopping by and I will come back at the end of the night and let you know how the wig wore. Everyone, it's Pam. Welcome back. So it's the end of the night and this is what Dakota looks like after being on for a very long time. She's a little knotted in the back not too much, but just, um, you know, just a little bit back here. But otherwise, I think she looks great. Didn't really give me problems. A little bit in my face, you know, I had to do this a little bit. Just a little bit, not really, like, bothersome. I mean, it would be like a natural haircut that's in your face like that. So nothing to, um, that, like, would be, like, an, a showstopper for me. But, um... Yeah, she held up really good. I love the, the, the coloring and the highlights in this. But um, didn't move. I didn't have to adjust her at all. So she didn't shift at all. Very good density. Like I said, there's no permatease. And to me, it just looks like a natural hairstyle. Um, I think I'm going to wear this a lot because this is, this is like perfect for me at work. Um... I'm not sure that I'm that crazy about how it flatters me, but I love the wig itself. So thumbs up for Dakota. If you're looking for something that's semi short with a little bit of fringe, little flatter style, Dakota's your gal from Renee of Paris. Okay. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you haven't subscribed, Hit that subscribe and you'll get notified whenever I upload new videos. Bye.